Crowds are already gathering on the beaches around Cape Kennedy to watch the launch. By tomorrow night, a half million people are expected to be here, lining the beaches and roadways around the Kennedy Space Center. The launch site is surrounded by water. Hundreds of small boats will anchor in lagoons and rivers around the center to watch Apollo 17 lift off. Some people, mostly retirees, have been at the Cape since mid-November, patiently waiting. Others are arriving daily, often from hundreds of miles away. If conditions are perfect, the liftoff will be visible for 500 miles. But the best view will belong to those watching from the Cape area. Well, that particular one kind is going to be shot off at night. We never have seen it that way, you know. It's the last one. The last one, too. Well, we've never seen the line, and we retired, and we're from Texas. Uh, a lot of money spent on it. Uh, doesn't much effort going to something. Uh, the least of God can do is see it in his lifetime. Uh, we have never seen one uh, this close. And this being the last one, that uh, we don't want to miss it. The Kennedy Space Center is one of Florida's top tourist attractions. So far this year, more than a million people have taken the NASA bus tours of the center. That sort of attendance is expected to continue, even though the moon landing program is ending. John Danzey, NBC News, at Cape Kennedy.